what's happening YouTube Jeff Robbins here welcome back to the channel so we just had round three of our local kart racing championship and it was cold windy and wet all the three things we love about standing out in the middle of a parking lot but it was a good day for me because our local kart shop come through with my brand new Briggs LO206 racing engine there it is so my son's not going to be racing this thing we're still going to race ka for our local championship even though the class is kind of thinned out on us he needs to get as much seat time in that two stroke as possible because we're going to go down to vegas and we're going to race this thing in november down in vegas it's going to be a good time so he needs to get as much seat time as he can as possible in the two stroke so this briggs is going to be just for the channel so we're gonna throw this thing on the dyno and beat the heck out of it. You know, we're gonna test as many carb settings as we can think of, test as many lash settings as we can think of, see how that changes the torque and the horsepower curves. So yeah, we're just gonna beat this thing up on the dyno and see if we can get it running as good as we possibly can. I got a few new tools here um, that we're gonna use. Um, I've got this little crank holder here and this thing actually sets up like this see if I can do this one-handed and this guy just slides over the crank just like that bolt it down right there and that'll hold the crank while we're doing our leak down test I've got this new little uh, valve compression compression tool so we'll test that thing out I haven't used it yet because um, somewhere along the line here this thing's probably gonna need a top-end rebuild after after we've run it for for so long so Instead of just lapping the valves, I went ahead and I got this uh, cutting kit so we can actually machine the valve seats instead of just lapping them up. It's much nicer. I've used this quite a few times already. I already love it. Um, last thing but not least, you know what, we'll go ahead. We'll do helicoils as well. But I also got this set up so that we can do AFR. I've got a wide band sensor bung welded here into the exhaust silencer so that we'll be able to get uh, AFR readings while we've got this thing on the dyno. But yeah, so let's get this thing done. I'm not sure how many videos this is. I've got to kind of find good times to run the dyno. I'm in a residential neighborhood, so I usually try to sneak out in the middle of the day, make some noise to try to try not to make the neighbors uh, too mad at me. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get this thing set up. And um, I've got a few things that I need to get bolted to it. We'll get this thing ready to go on the dyno and we'll start doing some dyno pulls, get this thing broken in. I'm just going to use standard Briggs 4T uh, racing oil to break this thing in. Um, I've heard both sides of the equation, so I'm just going to go with the Briggs 4T. So let's start there and let's get this thing put together.
All right, guys, so just finished up the preparations on the 206 so we can get this thing on the dyno. Just got a couple things left. I've got to get some oil in it. Um, I need to get a magnetic drain plug. I don't want to run this thing without the mag magnetic drain plug, and I thought I had one, but apparently I don't, so I've got to get one of those. Um, and then once we get this thing on the dyno, I want to do a leak down test on it. The compressor is sitting out in the garage. Um, and I just don't want to go get it. So we'll also do the leak down test on it um, before we run this thing on the dyno as well. And one last thing I want to show you. Get this off here. Get this with one hand. Is I'm going to be running this thing without a clutch. So I've got this little direct drive setup I want to show you. And this is just the spacer from my Hilliard clutch. Slap that on there real quick. And then it's got a key. And then here's the front drive sprocket. Got a little spacer. And then just bolt her down. And that way we've got direct drive. So no more clutch slippage on dyno poles with this thing. And I've done a few with this since I've uh, some of the other videos I posted. And this makes a huge difference on the dyno results. So look forward to showing you that and I've got a little log book going just so we know where we're starting here um, intake lash four thousandths intake lift 246 thousandths of an inch exhaust lash five thousandths exhaust lift 242 thousandths uh, the needle position is two down from the top float height um, 86 hundredths of an inch and then the idle speed screw is two and a quarter turns out so that's where we're going to start um, you know one thing i want to point out in case you noticed in the video i had some issues with the helicoils they just didn't want to start for me for whatever reason and then this one over here once i got it in the top thread of the helicoil it hung up on the lip so i actually had to pick it down um, so you may notice that from the video um, but yeah other than that it went pretty smooth so, all right guys, stay tuned for the next one. The next one we're going to do the engine break-in and we're gonna do our first dyno pull to get our baseline. So, plan your race, race your plan, have a good time at the track.